What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Aiden here and in today's video I want to talk about navigating my masculinity and I feel like I was trying to make this video and it gets really really messy and I feel like as a trans masculine person, as a person who identifies on the more quote unquote binary spectrum of masculinity, um, I myself uh, have this battle and this battle is an internal and external battle and that is what masculinity is in a societal standpoint and what masculinity is for me as a masculine person. And so there is the, the gender spectrum, right? But I also think that there are spectrums within the spectrum. So as far as masculinity, I think masculinity is a spectrum, right? And so outside of the gender spectrum, we just have masculinity and you have more uh, traditional masculinity and then you have this, this kind of neo-masculinity, I'll call it. So more of a new age, a coming of age masculinity. And so what does this entail, right? So this is kind of a, a fluidity of masculinity because I've been trying to figure out where I land on this spectrum. And I think a lot of people, including myself, thought I leaned more on this side of the spectrum, more on the very binary side of the spectrum. But I personally have been experimenting a little bit with my space on this spectrum. And lately, I've been posting and wearing eyeliner. So I've been wearing black eyeliner and I don't wear it in, you know, a very, uh, you know, elaborate way, but I'm wearing eyeliner, which is makeup, which means I, as a binary looking man who is still a man, is wearing eyeliner and wearing makeup. I've also been looking at a lot of pictures. I'm writing my book and it's got me looking through a lot of my past and I'm looking at uh, a lot of, I used to wear nail polish. I used to wear all black nail polish and then I would wear one hot pink nail. And that was my ring finger on both fingers. I don't know, it was like a thing. I think it was like my own play, like Carson Daly when TRL was really popular started doing like three black fingernails and it was like a cool thing to do. So I think maybe, I, I, I don't know, maybe I was playing with that. Um, but the point is, is that like, I have been like, kind of interested in painting my nails and not not like elaborate or anything but I've been interested in like black nail polish and it made me think like why wouldn't I want to wear pink nail polish and I was like well I think because that goes back to this internal and external battle of society's view of masculinity and my view of masculinity right and to me like my masculinity like I'm not really overly drawn to pink as a color, not because I see it as like girly or whatever, but I just like, if you gave me the rainbow of colors and I had to put them on my nails, pink would probably be on the tail end, right? But why is that? It's partially because of my own identity, but I also have to admit that there's a part that society has trained me well to believe that pink is a more effeminate color and it shouldn't be on my masculine spectrum. But it is because as a queer person, as me, as Aiden, and not as a society person, right? Like, I feel like the spectrum of masculinity is like, you know, do I want to be a man who wears Timbaland boots? Do I want to be a man who wears high heels? Do I want to be a man who paints his nails, you know, pink or black or blue? Or do I want to be a man who doesn't paint his nails at all? Like, what kind of man do I want to be? Because all of these are men. All of these people are identified under the masculine spectrum because again, masculinity itself is a spectrum. But I feel like society views of me, right? Like when society hears Aiden Dowling wears eyeliner, Aiden Dowling wears makeup, Aiden Dowling painted his nails black, right? Like if I did, because I, I don't, I'm not sure if I want to, right? I'm exploring it, but if I did, would people then be like, you know, would, would society view my masculinity as less than? Maybe, right? Would my queer family view my, like, my queerness as more because I'm painting my nails or I'm wearing makeup? Maybe, because even as a queer community, we have our own judgments and stereotypes of what that queer identity looks like. So it is this really external, right? Like what you know, society, queer identity, all these things, these externals coming and meeting my internal. And my internal is telling me, 
dude, just like do what you feel is best for you. Like explore, okay? Like it's okay if you want to paint your nails and you don't want to use pink. That doesn't make you, you know, toxic, okay? That just makes you a guy who doesn't want to wear pink nails, right? That's all it is. But again, it's just really interesting this kind of learning curve I'm going through as a man myself. And I think the only reason I'm able to go through this learning curve is because I am the most comfortable in my masculinity than I have ever been before. And that is because of hormones, because of surgeries, because of my own exploration of my identity. And I now feel the most comfortable exploring these things. And again, I still really identify as a pretty like masculine dude. Like, you know, I, I like to dress your traditional masculine ways. And these questions of the spectrum of masculinity and where I fit on it are really interesting to me. And I don't have any of the answers. And I really do not think that at any point in my life journey, you're going to be seeing me like 20 years from now in dresses and, you know, being on this other side of the masculine spectrum. I think I'll probably always be more over here, but I think that on certain days and certain feelings, we have to give ourselves as men the uh, permission and the ability to waver within this masculine spectrum and still be seen as men that we are. And so, yeah, I don't really have like a clear cut answer or anything here, but I just want to say that like, if I decide to wear eyeliner or if I decide to paint my nails black, I'm still a pretty masculine dude and those things don't categorize me or make me less masculine and I feel like that is something I'm trying to teach myself based on being a product of society, being somebody who was taught all of these, this is feminine, this is masculine, this is what you do if you're a man, this is what you do if you're a girl, right? Like all these separate things. Um, I'm a product of that because I'm a human being and I live in America and that's it. I'm a product of it. You're a product of it. We're all trying to break that cycle. And so I guess what I'm really trying to say is, hey guys, I'm trying to break the cycle of what society taught me masculinity is and I am a man and I'm also discovering my masculinity in new ways because I'm part of a really cool queer world and I feel really lucky to have the ability to feel confident and comfortable in my masculinity that I can explore outwardly. And I hope that if you're trans masculine or masculine or cis whatever, I hope that maybe you can take that message and feel aligned with it as well because that is what I think we really need to do in our world of masculinity today. We need to just relax, let loose of the reins and explore ourselves because again, I can do all of these things and still be and feel as masculine as I want to. So here is your permission to go ahead and start exploring, okay? And if you are like more of an, you know, on the, on the, I wear dresses, I wear heels and makeup masculine scale and you want to venture over to the other side, explore because I've actually had queer people tell me that they were ashamed to explore, you know, maybe a little bit more of the binary male world because they didn't want their queerness to go get taken away. No one's taking your queerness away. Hold on to it. You got it. Don't stress it. I love you guys and I'll catch you in the next video. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, share this with all your friends and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.